Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about back orders and how to handle them. So in many cases, when a customer places an order, that might be of an item that you don't have in stock. So if we take this order right here that I'm writing and I click on add items, this is our order guide that we can use. And we have a checkbox here that says show available items. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck this and I'm going to find an item that has zero in stock. And I'll select one single warehouse. As you can see here, we have multiple warehouses. So I'm going to select, for example, our retail warehouse. And you notice I have sorting ascending our quantity available. So in this case, we'll pick a 20 amp square D circuit breaker and we'll say we need five of them for the customer. We'll add and close. And now you can see here over to the right under quantity, I don't have enough quantity available to ship this out. And you also notice the quantity on hand is zero. Now, when I save this, Acumatica doesn't actually check the back order status yet. However, the system already acknowledges that there's a stock shortage. Before I continue, only 15% of you are subscribed. Hit that subscribe button now to get notified about new videos and events. When you try to ship this order using the process screen, ship orders, it will flag the status of this order as back order because this particular sales order has gone through the process of being checked and Acumatica changes it to back order so that next time when you look at the sales order, you'll know for your customer's sake that it's on back order. Now keep in mind, a shortage and a back order status could mean maybe I have three of them, but not enough. And maybe I have other lines that are shipping, but not this line. So let's go to sales orders, processes, and process orders. Under process orders, you go over to create shipment. Now this is a screen that many customers schedule. So you can run this in the morning, for example. You can even filter it so you can run it twice, maybe handling your customer's next day orders at one point in time where you're handling the balance at another point in time. But you can see our order right here. And if we select it and click process, you'll see a warning here because there's not enough items on this order to ship it out. Now, if we go back to sales order and refresh, you can see that now the status is back order. And one other note here, Acumatica looks at this particular setting here, which says back order allowed. There's three options. If I only have a certain amount of quantity, let's say again, I have the example of I have three in stock, but I need five. If we set it to ship complete, Acumatica is not going to try to create a shipment for just the balance of the two. It's just going to fail and set it to back order because the customer has told you, this is a customer preference, that they only want everything 100%. Cancel remainder is if I have a couple, then cancel the rest of the order. So it would try to ship the two, but then cancel the balance. So this is a customer preference. It comes from the customer profile. But now, how do I get this back order to get fulfilled? So a couple of things here. Under inventory and under in inventory preferences, we have a preference here that says replan back orders. So what does that mean? Well, well, if this is unchecked, when the stock comes in and you run create shipments again, this order will not be acknowledged as opened and it will not create a shipment. But if you have replanned back orders on, it will automatically do that as soon as you get stock into your warehouse. So we'll keep that checked, but it's important to note that this preference is there. I'm not sure what the default setting is. As I recall, a few years ago, this setting was always kept off. But check your settings under inventory preferences and make sure it's turned on 
Do you want to automatically turn back orders to ship? Now, you may not want to. Certain businesses require that you call the customer when the product comes into stock. So you don't want to just automatically ship it out. In that case, you'll keep this unchecked. So if we go over to our purchases and we create a new purchase order, of course, from the sales order, we can actually create a purchase order by marking this for PO automatically. But in this case, we'll create it manually. So we'll create our purchase order. We'll select our item. We'll select our warehouse, which again is retail. We wanna make sure that we're asking the system to ship it to the retail warehouse. This will go out on the vendor, because each warehouse has an address. So the vendor knows where to ship it. And when we receive this, it'll automatically default to receiving to the retail warehouse. We're gonna order five of them. We're abbreviating our purchase order process. We'll remove the hold. We'll approve it. And we'll receive it. So our receipt quantity is five. We'll release it. Now, if we go back to our sales order and we refresh, notice this exclamation point has gone away. Also notice our on hand available, everything has been updated. So we have five, but the status is still back order. Now I can click on open order manually to change the status to open. But if I go back to process orders and I refresh, you'll notice not only do I have the option to open order, but if I just go to create shipment, this particular order is available. It shows back orders, in this case only a back order. And if I click process, and I go back over to sales orders and I refresh, this order has been turned into a shipment automatically. And if we go over to shipments, you can see the shipment that our process order screen created with the quantity five. So this will automatically take care of business when you have that replan back orders on. Now, one other thing here, there may be situations where you wanna call your customer and let them know that you have orders that are in back order stage. So this is listing all of our sales orders. I don't have any back orders here. Well, what you can do is you can create a filter and show it and then have someone call out your customer and let them know that their order is back order. Now, the other thing you could do is you can use business events and alert the customer automatically when their sales order goes into back order status. So here, for example, is a business event. It's out of the box, at least with my demo site called back order created very simple it's looking at the screen sales orders so it's looking at each individual sales order not the generic inquiry but the sales order itself and it's looking at when the field changes or when there's a record inserted so this means it's going to look at this sales order anytime there's a change or when a new one's created and then it looks at the field value of status to see if it's back order. When that happens, it'll send out this email notification, but of course you can do many different things. You could send the customer a text message. You could send your salesperson a push notification on their phone. So you have a bunch of different options. You could create a reminder task to follow up for your salesperson to follow up. But in this case, it sent a email and this is what the email looks like. And you could see the email, it's not pretty, but of course you can add HTML here. So this gives us both halves of the equation. We want to know how can we fulfill that back order right away. We talked about inventory replan as soon as the product comes in and how it'll take care of it. But we also want to let people know, whether it's the salesperson or the customer, that to expect a back order, that it's going to take a little bit longer to get this product in. You could advance this business event, maybe look for a purchase order, and look for the shipping date from the vendor 
and actually send that. You can actually provide updates. A little creative work of a, a generic inquiry, a custom generic inquiry can provide all of that data that you can put into the email. In another video, we're going to talk about managed sales order allocations and how you can direct stock to the customers that need it most. But thanks so much for watching this video on back orders. Hopefully you found it useful. If you did, please click that like button. And if you have any questions about this or anything else Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and have a great day.